What do we have to do? You tell me. I don't know. I'm through. Is there further discussion? The State House day ends with an unusual show of emotion. Senate Democrats walk out to protest changes to a hate crime bill. When the day started, those Democrats supported the bill, then Republicans changed it, pulling out specific references to race, gender, and age. The governor is now calling on members of his own party to undo this vote. News 8's Brenna Donnelly has been following all of this for us. Good morning, Brenna. Good morning. Some say the word bias is strong and broad enough to cover any characteristic that might prompt a hate crime, but others say the specific list is ironclad protection that's now gone. Things that as a young man, I don't know if I understood at the time. Senator Aaron Freeman started with a grade school story about his Jewish sister and cited an Indiana Supreme Court case saying there is a state standard for prosecuting bias crimes. But there are folks, certainly in the corporate community and others, that don't believe that we have a bias crimes law. I think we do. His amendment to Senate Bill 12 removed entire pages of the document, including this list of characteristics specifically enumerated as contributing reasons to hate. And why are you taking out the list? Because I believe, in my legal opinion, when I go to court... When challenged, he defended using just the phrase bias with that Supreme Court case. Why did you remove the word race from the bill? Senator Taylor, in my watching, I'm not on the committee. What I sought out to do was what, in my heart, I believe is the right thing to do for the citizens. It got more heated. If you wanted everyone to be treated the same. Be clear, specific, and inclusive. Show me some recognition. Tell me. No, just tell me. Show me. I'm and Democrats stood up and walked Is out. There a discussion? The amendment passed 33 to 16. I'm shocked. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm sad. Over the next hour, statements poured in from the governor, the Chamber of Commerce, advocacy groups calling the hate crime law ineffective, a long way to go, saying it does not remove Indiana from the list of states without a hate crime bill, a list with just four other states. So what's next for this bill? It is a Senate bill passed in the Senate. It now moves to the House of Representatives. If it passes there, it'll go to the governor's desk. But the governor, however, has already stated his disappointment in those changes. Kylie. Brenna, thank you.